In this tutorial, I will show you how to import models locally into Easy Design. Each version of Easy Design includes thousands and thousands of models preloaded into the software, but you now have the option to import your own models. So I'm going to show you how that is done. And currently, we uh, support the file format called SketchUp. We will, of course, add more formats later on. And one very popular place to go and find free models is the 3D Warehouse. And that is exactly where I'm at right now. Uh, 3D Warehouse is a website that contains millions of models created in SketchUp format. And I'm going to go up to the search field here and we're going to search for models. And you can do a very specific search for a, a manufacturer or a specific type of product. But I'm just going to do a very generic search for Sofa. And it will then display my result here, which I can sort by relevance, popularity, and so on. I can also go into collections and find collections of sofas. But we're going to be in models. And let's sort this by popularity. And let's pick this sofa right here. And you simply download the model by clicking on the download button to the right down side of the thumbnail. And we're going to save it to my computer. And that will be now saved in my download section on the local uh, on my computer locally. Then I simply go back to Easy Design. And I click on the green Import Model button here. That opens the My Imports menu. My Imports is the section in Easy Design in the Object tab where your imported files will be. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about that later on. But now we're going to import, uh, start importing models. We click on the green button. We select the model, which was in my download section. And it's going to start importing. And it's going to open up in 3D. And here we have an import wizard. So I could simply just go next, next, next here and, and not do any changes to the model. But I will show you the different ways you can customize the model. You can easily change the scale of a model. And you can either use the plus or minus sign or you can type in a percentage and click enter. But let's keep it at 100%. You see the dimensions here. So you always know the scale of the model. Then we click next. And here I have the option to change materials. So let's say I want to change the upholstery of the sofa. Then I can click on the sofa and we can click on, let's say, cloth and it changes to a different type of texture. We can click on the legs of the sofa and select chrome. So if we go down here, you'll see the chrome texture right there. Then we click next and now we have the option to add color uh, variations to the model. So later on when I'm doing my floor planning, I can make that sofa in any color that I would like. And to do this, we first need to create parts. And I'm going to create a part and I'm going to call it upholstery. Click OK. Now click on the object part that you would like to add that uh, upholstery color option to. And that's that part. Click Done. And let's say I want to add that option for the legs as well. So I'm going to click create part again. And let's call it legs. Click OK. Click on the legs and done. So here we have the two different color categories now. Then we click done and it's going to ask me if I would like to import the model. And yes. We're back into the import menu and I'm going to select the name new sofa for this model. So I can find it later on. And if you're going to import a lot of models, I do highly advise you to create a folder system. And you do that by cl clicking here, create folder, click on the new folder, rename the folder. And I'm just going to call that sofa S like that sofas. Hold down the left mouse button and drag that model into the sofa folder. And it's going to say, do I would like to move that? Yes. Now we can press close and in the import, my import menu, the green uh, tab right here, which is in your object section, you click on imported, 
click on the new category or new folder sofas and there is the new sofa that we just imported and if we click on it you see the different color options so let's say I want to change the upholstery to red let's do that now we have a red sofa let's do see the result in 3d and also make a quick color change in 3d as well so there is my imported sofa if I click on the edit object icon I can then click on the model change the upholstery let's do a little bit of a gray color sofa and if we click on the legs let's do dark legs like that so that is the steps to import your own models locally into easy design